first time tonight, we're seeing what led Fort Collins police to shoot and kill Jerry Jackson last August. Jackson and his wife had been arguing when police were called out. He had recently violated multiple restraining orders when officers had to make a tough call. Denver 7's Molly Hendrickson has the body cam video that helped clear those officers. We want to warn you the video is graphic, but today the Fort Collins police chief says this shows his officers acted with integrity and commended them for how things went down here on Bainbridge Street. Take a look. You can see officers approach Jackson. That's a six inch hey, fillet knife he's holding. Knife. They tell him to keep his hands out of his pockets and to drop the knife at least 15 times, warning they'll shoot him. They even try and tase him three times, but they're too far away. He even tells them at one point, kill me. We've decided not to show you the actual moment Jackson is shot. Hey, do not do it. I'm going to shoot you, man. I'm going to shoot you. The number one thing I'm glad about is that the officers and the citizens were, were safe after this event. Anytime we can have more evidence, more perspectives on an event, it's a, it's a good thing. And so, yes, I'm personally glad that we had cameras on that day. The chief also said he hopes to have all of his officers wearing body cams by the end of the year. The cost, about $200,000 a year, a price he says is well worth it. In Fort Collins tonight, Molly Hendrickson, Denver 7.